Hello everyone, this is Asika from the itprojects.com. Today's tutorial is on doing HMI touch screen display. HMI means one machine interface. Doing is specialized in making HMI touch screen displays that are compatible with all microcontrollers like Arduino, STM32, PIC, and 8051 families of microcontrollers. Here we have a sample. DMG80480C070 underscore 04WTC. The first two letters DM mean doing smart LCM product line. G means 18 bit per 24 bit 262 K colors. 80480 means 800 by 480 pixel resolution. C means commercial grade display. And 070 means a 7.0 inch display size. Then, this 04 means a basic type of screen, whereas W stands for white temperature and TC stands for capacitive touch panel. The operating voltage is 4.5 to 5.5 volt DC. Here, you can see different hardware interfaces of this product. This is T5L0 interface. This one is LCM interface. Similarly, this one is TP interface. And this is PGT05 interface. Here you can see the SD card interface, the buzzer, and the user interface to connect the FCC 10 terminal block. You can change the TTL interface mode or RS232 mode from here. Just solder these two terminals as shown here to enable TTL interface. By default, the model is in RS232 interface. Here we are provided with an SDL662V adapter board. This board is nothing but a USB to TTL board. Then, we have here a FCC cable which is provided with this SDL board. On the LCD board, you can see the flip open connector. Just flip open the connector and insert the FCC cable. Keep in mind that the blue ends should be on top. Now, you can just press the lock so the FCC cable is locked. In the same way, and the end of the FCC cable is connected to the SDL by keeping the blue end on the top. Now, here we have a male to male USB cable. So, one end is connected to this SDL board and another end is connected to your PC. Here, we can use an SD card of up to 16GB to download the firmware files. Above 16GB is not supported. We can easily insert the micro SD card into its SD card slot. But we need to format this SD card in a F8032 file system. You can follow this instruction to format the SD card. Now, let us visit the official website of doingglobal.com. You can see this Dwin company making a wide range of high quality touch screens for Android LCD, HDMI LCD, and Linux LCD displays. Under the download section, go to Tools and download the DGOS Dwin Graphic Utilize software, that is, DGOS software and EXR21X driver. This driver is for hdl 662 v board, so download and extract both files. We don't need to install this DGOS software. Under this DGOS folder, you can see some executable files, which includes tools like the ICL tool, font generating tool, image resizing tool, etc. inside the DGOS software. Inside the XR21X folder, there are driver files. You need to install the driver on your PC to establish the communication between SDL662V and your PC. Double click the executable file to launch the driver installer. Now, click on install to install the driver on your Windows PC. This is the factory demo of the LCD. I have created my own UI using this Digger software. I will cover the detailed video on how to create your own UI for doing display using Digger software in the upcoming episode. Now, let's flash this UI on this 7 inch Duin display. You need to copy the Duin underscore SCT folder onto your SD card, then insert the SD card on your LCD display. Now, connect the USB cable connector to the SDL board. You can see the downloading process started immediately after powering the LCD. After completing the download process, remove the USB from the PC, then remove the SD card from the display. 
Now, again, connect the USB cable. Now, you can see our newly flashed UI on the LCD display. Alternatively, if you don't have any SD card, you can use the T5L tool in Digo software to flash the UI onto your LCD display. Here, select all these files which are available in the doing underscore SCT folder as shown here. After that, select the COM port of the SDL board. You can see the COM port from Device Manager on Windows. Now, you can click on Start Downloading button. This is the output of our project which we have designed using Digo software. In our next episode, we will teach you to design and configure this UI and interface the sensor and relays to the Arduino board. Then we will make a serial communication between Arduino and LCD displays to monitor the sensor data and control our AC home appliances like light, fan, AC, TV, etc. using this LCD touch display. So that's all for today. Do subscribe and hit the like button so you don't miss any future content like this. It's me Asika signing off for today. Catch you soon. Bye bye.